So I've been getting a lot of comments lately saying I should build some type of cruise ship. So today we're actually going to get started on that. So let's get in the workbench here and get started. All right, guys, here we go. We have to start on the main hall. So let's start with this. Okay, so we're going to grab a one by one wedge or just like the normal wedge. We're going to drag this back a couple of blocks here. So we'll just drag it back. Like we'll just do three on here. And then behind that wedge right there, we're going to go to grab a one by two wedge. And this will kind of just, you know, slowly even out the hall. You know, I use that word a lot, I feel like. But, you know, I think that's like the perfect term for it. So we're going to put like three of those right there. And then directly behind it, of course, we have to grab the one by four wedges. This will definitely start to flare it out here. So we're going to do a couple of these. I think we'll just do two or three. So I feel like something like this should work. We're going to start on the bow right here and start actually angling it down with this one by two wedge. This is actually kind of starting to look really good. So we're just going to put this down like one or two blocks right here. So, you know, something like that'll work here. We'll probably cut it off right there. And then past that point, we're going to switch to a one by four wedge here. Whoop, don't do that. Okay, one by four. And we'll just drag this straight down pretty far. So this will go really close to the bottom here and I don't know. So something like that should work for how far it's going to go down. Then we're going to switch to a one by one wedge or just a normal wedge. Uh, a lot of people call that. And we're just going to drag this down two blocks right here. And then behind this, we actually have to grab a block to actually place the next one. So we have to do a one by two wedge here. Oh, this is going to look awesome. Uh, I think I messed that up really bad. Okay, so I think it's actually the opposite. So we do like one row of this and then it switches to the actual one by one wedge. Yeah, that's definitely how it goes. That, that looks way smoother. And after that one right there, we'll switch it back to a one by four. And right here, will actually be the bottom of the ship so i feel like that would work out pretty well we're gonna drag this all the way to the back here and just do something like that i don't know how far it's gonna be oh this is gonna be a long series guys okay so uh we're gonna make this look a little bit better right here by doing the one by one wedge like this actually no we're gonna put this here there we go all right so i feel like that looks pretty good as a haul now we need to like fill in all these blocks in between this is like the hard part all right, so on this way top part right here we're gonna go and grab a pyramid piece so it'll have like a little bit of gapping like right here as you can see it doesn't like overlap all the way that's completely fine shouldn't be an issue at all we'll do something like this and we can't continue doing that because as you can see it actually like kind of messed that up a little bit we'd actually have a gapping in the hall you do not want that so we'll grab a one by four and do this so i feel like that oh that's perfect oh gosh guys what do you think we should do over here so i think we're gonna grab a one by two and then just drag it across okay and then we can on over here we can do a one by four so basically you just have to keep going up in the block the farther we go down all right so something like that awesome okay uh you know what guys i'm not actually liking this curve part right here i feel like it curves too much so what we're gonna do is really even it out here with a one by two let's see if this will work oh there's a gap there though Ooh, will this work oh it worked the block above it okay we'll do that so we'll put one right there and oh there we go okay so that's perfectly smooth then i think for right here we can actually just grab a one of these blocks i don't even know what they call this what is it called i actually want to know pyramid two by two yep that's what you call it and we need to do a block behind here oh i love these parts so you just put the block here and it's perfectly smooth there we go and this is where the blocks start getting really long at so we're gonna grab a two by four and then this will be placed right here oop we got to do the other way perfect i feel like i'm doing something wrong on this side should that be flat right there no we got to do something else there okay we'll deal with that later we're gonna start on this side so now i think we'll switch to the one by fours and oh that's perfect yeah i think we'll do that so what in the world kind of block would fit right here and like be that long you know i think i have the perfect one so the inverse pyramid i think we were just using this we'll put it directly upside down flip it right right there oh i thought that worked hold on maybe if we, maybe if we put it like right here oh gosh guys i think we're having issues okay we'll do this oh there we go okay i was kind of concerned there and you know what? Right here, I think we're going to cut that off and then we're going to grab the biggest pyramid ever. So the one or the four by four. And let's see if this will work right here. So I'll just drag it right here and drag it across. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, this will definitely work out pretty well. We're going to continue doing this one by four thing down just till here. And then we'll like do something else here. Cool. So something like this should work. And we should definitely do something here to add more design in the actual hall itself. So we're going to grab a one by two and just drag this down a little bit. Tell like you that's going to get really close right there. But I think that'll work. And then it'll basically just be like a flat line across. Cross. I think that's normally how they do it in real life. So we'll just kind of do something like this and it should work out. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. You know, we'll keep it for now, but we're going to see what we can do down on this part right here to make it look better. So for right here, I'm thinking we will need something like a two by four and then it'll really even it out here. So, oh, something like that will definitely work. It's getting close there. So we'll probably have to switch the block. Um, let's see. What should we do on this corner? I think we can just use the four by four pyramid. So we'll do that. Oh, perfect. Oh, this hole is really coming together. All right. So the next Next part is down here and we're gonna grab a should we try a four no not a four by four i want a two by two so this is a two by two would this work no it wouldn't that's some gapping there but couldn't we like just technically cover it you know what i think we can so you know what we'll just delete this block right here fill it with actual normal
small block so we can't see it because I don't know what else we'd really do there. So we're just going to fill it up like this. And all right, that looks good. Uh, besides this, you guys see this little like pixel hanging off the edge. We need to delete that and find out a block to put right here. And you know what? I think we'll just do a one by two wedge like that. And now we're at the bottom of the hall. So this is where stuff will get kind of interesting. Actually, you know, not really. You know, it is important though. So we have to do it or else the hall will fill with water. And I think we're done kind of with the front part of the hall. So we'll see here. And we're going to just flatten out the hall like right here instead of it being like on this bottom part so you know we'll just have like a block that lines through the entire bottom and we can put like our fin stability or whatever on there yeah that'll definitely work uh oh wait guys we have an issue remember this flat part i made right here we can't do that because it actually curves right here but you know what? i don't even care because we are continuing with that flat part that is definitely necessary for this thing we're gonna just delete that stuff so these flat parts are like super easy all you have to do is just fill up the blocks basically how they are and like not kind of think of anything else so you just gotta put the blocks here and that's all you gotta do and there we go i got the main hall done i didn't want to do it on screen because that is like super boring watching me build a hall so we're just gonna completely extend this here how long should this be Ooh, this is a good question i honestly have no idea but for now we're just gonna be filling up the sides to make sure this thing can actually float at least oh i forgot we also have to do the back or the stern you could say because we are building a boat oh this can be interesting and then i think for right here we're just going to extend it we're not going to do any more stuff with like curving it inward so we'll just completely extend it like this so pretty simple for now you know wait a second guys i forgot something they did do in real life is uh make the actual sides of the ship stabilizers so they'd have like a big kind of like fin stick out a little bit so you know what? we're gonna do that here if you don't know what i mean just stick with me and i'll show you guys so we're gonna have it curve in kind of like majorly right here so we'll just drag this all the way down and then it will actually come back out and this is a part that stabilizes the ship majorly so this is definitely necessary on boats like this so we'll do that and then we'll have a part on the bottom here it's a one by four pyramid and we'll just have it kind of like stick out so we'll do it the other way perfect so something like this and this will actually kind of like you know i don't know it'll do something with the water to make it way more stable we'll just say that and honestly i feel like we're gonna start the tail like somewhere like right here so we're just gonna completely cut all of this stuff off and there we go so we are cutting the ship in half and we're gonna start building the tail right here i feel like this might be a little bit too short but we'll see of course we can always just extend it at the end by doing some copy and pasting and then we're actually gonna replace this part right here with like you know the normal part of the boat we had last time so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna fill this up with stuff since we're making the stern we're gonna have this end right here and then fill everything up like on the side of it so how should we do this you know we could just do these one by fours right here and line it up should we do that oh wait we could do something like that but you know we could just delete those grab a one by four and drag it up if you know what i mean so we'll just do this and go something like that okay i feel like that kind of looked like a stern oh great now we have to fill all this stuff up okay we're gonna do that please don't add those blocks on the bottom perfect and we're gonna have this go all the way up to the actual top of the deck right here and that is where it should even out Ooh, i don't know if that looks good you know here's what we'll do since this is a stern we wanted to start closing in near the back so we're going to start that up here then we can't forget to fill up the blocks behind it so it doesn't look really weird so do something like that and then eventually we have to end off this part right here and we'll just do that right there and then we're going to replace all of this with one by fours so it'll start kind of going you know it'll look like a stern here we're going to do the same thing we did on the top here and just drag this directly to the top so we'll just kind of have it extend like that we're just going to line these blocks up make sure to even it out right here and this is where to get a little bit smaller at awesome and i'm thinking right here to add more design instead of it just going like up and looking kind of plain we'll grab a what's it called two by four and this will kind of make it look a little bit cooler we'll see so we'll just drag it up to like right here perfect yeah so something like this will definitely work and then we'll line this and it's exactly the same as using that block it just you know adds more design to it and on the bottom part here we're actually going to start curving it inward so we'll do something hold on we're trying to drag it it's not working drag it please uh all right so i dragged it off screen since it didn't want to work but yeah we'll do something like this i don't know if we'll have it be like that curved at the end and we're gonna do that all the way to the bottom here until we start curving it on the bottom itself so we're gonna just drag it completely over here oh no don't go upwards please no stay on the floor uh maybe you have to go directly above it yeah that no wait what's going on oh this hall is definitely coming together it looks super nice okay we just got to finish this back part here and then we can actually start building like the superstructure or whatever they call it i don't even know and would you look at that we're continuing the progress on the hall we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna actually start evening it out even more this is actually looking pretty sick uh we have some gapping going on here we're gonna fix that real quick so we'll grab a one by four place that block there just rotate it a couple blocks like this and keep dragging it up until it kind of gets uneven there so we'll have to switch the block on that end and before we keep continuing on the bottom we're gonna finish this top part because it's looking like kind of weird right now so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna switch to our two by two pyramids and just keep dragging them all across this actual ship here and oh actually i like that a lot oh i hate when this happens when it actually misses the block under it okay so we're gonna go under here just kind of like try 
right, finding the perfect fit for it. Oh gosh. There we go. Perfect. And we just have to keep extending this probably for a couple more blocks here until they actually end up touching. All right, cool. So we're basically done with that piece. We're not going to have it completely flattened out there. We'll do something like this to make it a little bit more curvy. It would honestly look absolutely terrible if I just left it like this. And you know, what? we'll just do one more of those. And I think that's where we're going to connect it at. So we'll just grab some one by fours and just like that, done with that part. And now we got to do all the other stuff. Uh, should we really use one by twos over here? I really, I don't think we've used these a lot on this ship. You know, that's fine though. Who cares? If we don't use them a lot, that's fine. We're just going to fill this up and done with that. Uh, what kind of block would fit right here? Would there even be a block that would fit right there? Oh, there is. Okay. So we're going to grab a two by two and oh, that's perfect guys. This is actually looking really nice. So now we need to uh, continue on this bottom part here. We basically got it started. I just have to finish it off, make it look good. So this is actually where the propeller is going to be at. So this is a very important part of the ship. So we're just going to keep lining this up. So we'll actually get them to be very close every time. So we'll get closer and closer. And then it's going to get to one block here. And this is where our propeller will actually shoot out the back of this thing at. So this is going to look really cool and we're done finished with it. All right. Now we're using one by twos again. And I think we're going to close it off right there. Grab a one by two wedge. And I think we are done with the bottom of the ship. Oh, no, we're not. Honestly, I think we are. For this, we only have to fill it up with blocks and then we should be good and call it a day. So we'll do something like that. Awesome. And then on the way bottom of the ship, we also have to do the same. So we'll do something like that. Oh, this is really looking cool. Oh my gosh. This looks so awesome when it's all filled up like this. All right. So on the top here, we're just going to have it curve instead of like doing all the other wobbly stuff. So we'll just calmly have it curve on the sides right here. We need a one by two on this side. Awesome. Oh, this ship looks so awesome. So we actually um, filled up all the bottom stuff right there. It's a little bit flat on the bottom, but you know, in Stormworks, that's completely fine. In real life, that'd be catastrophic. All right. So now we should start on the actual superstructure here. Uh, we're going to fill up all these blocks and this will be the deck right here. So pretty cool looking deck. And we're going to fill up this back part right there and we're done. Let's go see if this thing floats real quick. Hopefully we didn't put any holes in it. Look at this beauty, guys. This is where all my cruise ship is going to be at. These are where all my passengers are going to be. Oh, we can fit a whole bunch of rooms in here. It's a little bit thin, if I'm going to be honest. Wait, this thing's stability sucks. I think we're about to tip over. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's kind of concerning. So we probably do need some actual, you know, weight blocks inside. This is really concerning. That's what we're going to do right now, even though it's like not the stability video at all. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab some weight blocks and fill up the bottom of this thing just with a layer of it. So let's do like three. Um, you know, we'll just line one down to the bottom. We'll do like three thick and then we'll do another layer of it. So this is actually a good tutorial for you guys. If your ship is really wobbly, you want to put the center of mass as low as you can. So it's like that green thing or purple thing right here. That is not green. You know, in my opinion, this is where it's going to get to be the hard part. So I don't know where to actually build the superstructure, like where we actually drive this thing at. For now, what I can say, we need this over here to be like a full railing. So we're just going to click F over there. Oh, it just dragged me to that. Okay, we'll just do that as a railing. So we need to have enough walking room in between here. So we can do two as a walking room. That's like really thin though. Now, should we do two or three here? How about we test it out? We're going to do a wall right here. This is two. So that's like really thin. All right, we're going to walk on here. Oh, two is like, yeah, I don't think we can do two guys. Yeah, I'm going to delete the two one right there and we're going to extend this three one. This three one will be the walls and in here will be all of our like VIP rooms and all that fun stuff. But to actually start on where we drive this thing at or the front area, we're going to do some blocks right here and then we're going to grab a one by four and this is where stuff will go down at. All right. Or ooh, we should probably not say that if I'm building a ship, but this is going to be the front part. And then of course, we're probably going to put some like windows in here. Wait, should we make the actual driving area a couple blocks higher? All right. So we have all this stuff right here. We're going to put like a door right here where how like tall should this be? That's what I'm wondering. So we're going to grab a door. Uh, what kind of door should we have? Should we have a sliding door? We're going to see if a sliding door would fit right here. Oh, crap. It wouldn't. Okay. Well, guess we're not doing that. We'll grab a hinge door. We'll see if this works. Then we'll place the hinge door right there. And I think we're good in that regard. We're going to spawn this in and see if we can actually walk through. All right. Open the door and we can. I think we'll keep the ceiling around this height. So we'll fill that area up with blocks. But yeah, this is looking pretty nice. Then we'll have the captain's area one deck above. That'll work out really nicely, actually. Okay. We're going to do that. And I'm just going to kind of make like the blueprints of these rooms here. So we're going to do something like this. We'll have it go kind of like skinny on the end part of it. And then we'll go like kind of like this. It'll be look, it'll look kind of weird. Then we're going to extend this main part. I'm just going to call this the main part. So this is where our dining area or something's going to be at. So something important right there. Then we're going to do the same thing we did back there. Have it curve in just a little bit. I kind of see them do this in real life too. So we're just going to copy that, you know, copy what works guys. That's what we're going to be doing. And we'll make this like a little bit of a long part back here, but this is where the actual deck will be at. So wait, what kind of, um, we're going to have like some patio equipment probably right here. And since we got this all figured out, I think, you know, of course we can do some modifications in the future. We're going to fill this up with blocks in here. Just fill it all the way down. So we don't have any like water leaks do that. And then in a second here, we're going to go ahead and actually add some windows 
windows to this thing. That is very important. This looks really weird without a single window in it. Look at this, guys. This looks like a ghost ship. I don't even know what this is. Okay, we need to add windows. I think for a ship like this, should we just use like portholes as windows? And what height should they be at? So would that height work? Um, you know, we'll spawn this in and test it. So this be like a good height for a window. Oh, it's absolutely perfect. We can just walk up and look outside. Yeah, that'll work. I feel like that looks really ugly though. Here, you know, we'll look at the porthole like long one. We're using the small one. Let's see what this long one looks like. We'll do something like this. Does this look any better? Uh, ooh, I don't know. You know, I think it'll work for now. I really don't know how to do windows that well, guys. Please let me know down in the comments what we should do differently because we're not going to continue dealing with that. Uh, let's just keep doing windows. And there we go. We added some windows. Now we need to start up here with like the upper deck area. Uh, I have no idea how to do this. Here, you know what? I'll just do what I kind of think they do. We're going to extend this like that. And this is where like we, we can walk at if we have to like see an iceberg or something. Uh, does that look good from the front here? We'll look at it. It doesn't look too bad. Or wait, is that what they do in cargo ships, not in cruise ships? I have no idea, guys. I think it'll be fine. We'll extend it like this. And this is where we can see outside if there's like any type of emergency or ongoing emergency, of course. So we'll do that. And then the rest of those will probably be windows just in case we have to spot like an iceberg or something. The same with the rest of this area. So this isn't actually going to be where we drive this thing at. I'm going to do it like a couple blocks back. So we'll, we'll leave like three blocks for us to like walk around that entire area. And this is where all the stuff would actually happen. Let's try making this look kind of good because this is where we're literally going to be at for the majority of this uh, ship here. So let's see how this looks so far. That doesn't look too bad. I don't know. Some stuff definitely could be fixed, though. Um, We're just going to continue building it. Of course, we'll change stuff in the future here. But yeah, if you weren't able to tell already, I'm kind of going for like an older type of vibe. It's still a cruise ship, but you know, I don't want it to be look like super new and modern. I'm not good with that kind of stuff. I'm going to place a seat right here and see how these windows look if I look out of them because I feel like they're way too big. I want them to be like two by twos or something. So, you know, what? I think we have to get rid of that top window because I don't want the windows to be too big. I feel like people I feel like when they do that, it just looks super ugly. So we're going to do something like this. And I think these front windows are indeed done right now. All right. Uh, I don't know if that looks really any better. Honestly, it looks fine. Just these stupid uh, steering wheels there. We'll get rid of those. And now we need a actual helm. So we're going to use this. We'll put the blocks. What is going on with our ceiling here? What the heck? Did it collapse or something? All right. Well, anyways, we're going to put the helm right here and hopefully it's high enough. You know, we might actually have to rise those windows now. Oh gosh. First, we have to go check it out here. So we're going to go in here. Yeah, I don't know if that'll work. I think we have to rise it by at least one or two blocks. All right. I feel like something like this will work. It looks a little bit weird, but I don't even care. Okay. So we're going to do this, line it up and we need like a little bit of an overhang. So the rain doesn't get in our face. Basically, you know, we could do that on this block right here. We'll do that. So we're going to grab a, what's it called? A one by two pyramid and just line it up like this. And this will basically overhang it just a little bit here. So we'll just line this. or we could just do like a one block overhang all around, kind of like the fishing boat. I think that's what we did. So we'll just do this. You know, we'll copy it a little bit. Oh gosh, we're copying stuff. Okay, we'll do this. Copy it down. And that's our ceiling right there. And you know what? We're getting rid of this top bar here. That looks super ugly. And I think we're done with the helm area for now. We're going to spawn this in and look at it. Look at this thing. This looks awesome. What a great start. Honestly, this is coming together way better than I thought it would. We got our helm right here where we look out. Maybe we could rise these windows by one block. I feel us starting to tip over. Oh my gosh. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. We are tipping over. Wait. Nope. We're good. Oh, it didn't capsize. I think we're fine. But guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. This is a very good hall build here. I think we're finished with the hall itself. We're going to start on the interior in the upcoming days here. Make sure you guys go up, like and subscribe. Hit that bell to stay tuned on this series. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.